This weekend, Washington County residents celebrating and learning more about heritage. The Tourist Development Council there, along with Falling Water State Park, hosting the fourth annual Heritage Festival. News 13's Ashton Williams checked out the first day and has this report. Four years ago, Washington County officials brought back an old festival, but with a twist. They call it the Heritage Festival. I think it's important because a lot of kids don't learn, uh, you know, what we did you know, 30 years ago or even further back in 60 years ago and how people lived and, and this is an opportunity. Chris Ellis owns and operates a gator farm in Washington County. Each year he brings a couple of baby gators and educates people on the reptile. We'll talk about anything from the babies, how they hatch out and then on up to the bigger ones when we catch the nuisance gators. And then we talk about my farm a little bit and what I do out there. While Ellis's booth is a little more modern, some vendors set up and discuss things from hundreds of years ago like this Native American demonstrator who makes his own hunting tools. I was showing some of the kids a turkey call a while ago, which is a piece of slate rock attached to a piece of bark and just used a piece of cedar, and that's a turkey call. Sounds just like a turkey call that you would buy today. R.D. Easterling says it's been a journey for him to not only learn how to make these items, but also put them to use. There are a lot of modern nappers. There's people that make bows, but there's very few that are trying to follow the ancient skills that my forefathers used. The festival will be in full swing again Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. In Washington County, Ashton Williams, News 13.